Hallelujah to Jesus. Today is the day that the Lord has made. You will rejoice and be glad in it. I pray for you and for your entire family according to the covenant that is in the blood of Jesus. The covenant of our ownership, the, the covenant of our attainment, the covenant of our divine strength and our favor. I pray according to the word of God that today may God cause you to be an overcomer. Because the Bible says, whosoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even your faith. In the faith of God, you have overcome every ungodly worry this very day, I declare. That every ungodly worry in your life, you will overcome. You will overcome anxiety. You will overcome heaviness of spirit. You will overcome every sorrow. You will overcome every depression. The last of the eyes and the last of the flesh you will overcome. In faith, you will overcome all the tricks of the devil. For it is written, Greater is Jesus Christ that dwells in you than the devil that is in the world. No weapon that is formed against you or against your family shall prosper. In righteousness you are established. In the name of the Lord Jesus, this very day I decree and declare by the mandate of the blood of Jesus, that you are far away from oppression. You are far from oppression. For you shall not fear for the terror. They will never come near your dwelling. No terror of infirmity or plague will come near your dwelling in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Lord will cover you with his feathers because you have made him your dwelling place. Evil shall not befall you. No dread. No dread of darkness or the lions and the cobras shall surely come near your dwelling because the Lord shall surely preserve and deliver you from the snare of the fowler. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus by the mandate of the blood of the Lamb that God will make you a beneficiary of divine health through the stripes that was laid by the cross of Calvary. And through the name of Jesus Christ, through Jesus Christ, you have a right standing with God. Through Jesus Christ, you have access to the throne of grace of God. And you will find peace this very day. May God cause you to be a beneficiary of peace. You will have prosperity, for God will no longer allow the enemy to take from you anymore. Whatever the locust and the cankerworm have stolen from your life, stolen from your family, this is the day of divine restoration in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord has spoken by his word, and by the tongue of the landed he has written, that he will, you shall be justified by the words of your mouth. Today, every word that you will decree and declare and proclaim, the God of Israel shall bring you divine justification so that the hand of the Lord shall preserve the life of your children. That the word of the living God that you will confess will begin to transform you into your original image of God. And whatever God has designed in his word for you, today I ask that the blood of Jesus will wipe away every mark of reproach that the enemy has placed upon you physically or spiritually. I ask for the blood of Jesus to erase every evil and negative name that have ever been called you. Every evil name that have been declared or proclaimed over your life. Today by the power that is in the blood of Jesus we, we command it to be now and void and every negative report ever made against you today we erase it by the blood of Jesus Christ. We pray that they may the hand of the Lord preserve and keep you. May the grace of God speak for you in every area of your life. May the God of peace sanctify you wholly in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let the Lord fill you with the knowledge of his will. May God fill you with wisdom and with spiritual understanding. May the Lord help you walk worthy of blessing and everything that you will do this week may it be pleasing unto the Lord and may it be pleasing unto every man. May the Lord increase you in the knowledge of him. May the Lord strengthen you mightily. May the Lord be a scepter and a, a banner of grace for you. May the Lord strengthen you with might in the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus, may the Lord be a fortress for you this week. 
in the name of Jesus we have prayed so shall it be done in Jesus mighty name this is Apostle Dr. Jerry Oting from Global Harvest Ministries Worldwide and remember you are the property of the Holy Ghost Satan back off